today, a hand-painted success story. These festive Lolita-themed glasses are the million-dollar idea of our guest. And Lolita said that she was a bored stay-at-home mom when she got her inspiration during a girls' night out and then started to sell glasses that she painted herself right from her own home. And now, seven years later, later Lolita's retail sales are predicted to hit 36 million bucks. Wow. I yeah. am surrounded by women from the Northwest Enterprising Moms Convention. These women could kick my butt in the business world. <laughs> they own their own businesses, and they want to know how she did. In fact, Kelly's here. Kelly, come on. So, tell us a little about your business. Well, I have a business called Blue Dress Press, and we are an online papery product store. We sell holiday cards, birth announcements, wedding invitations. And everybody here, you all have businesses, right? Man, oh. so anything you want to know from Lolita? Of course. How did you get to your 36 million mark? <laughs> let me just, let me check some. Anybody here want to make 36 million? Yeah. Okay. Good question. Lolita, go ahead. Well, yeah. it's, it all started with a fun girls night out. I just had my first baby uh -huh. and needed a night out with my girlfriends, but I was dreaming. I was bored because I quit my job to stay home with my little girl. And I got served a Cosmo Martini. That was Sex in the City time of, you know. Cosmo Sex in the City. Now you're talking yeah. my language. The Cosmopolitan. And so I ordered the drink, and I was like, that drink is so pretty. It was so yeah. pretty. But they are, was, that's what got me hooked on martinis. <laughs> it was completely naked, and I thought, you know, that dress, that, that glass needs to be dressed in something. It needs a uh -huh. pattern. And I thought, you know, it would be really fun to have a recipe on the glass. Yeah. And I, I saw that. And I was peeking before the show. Yeah. Right on the bottom is the recipe for each little drink. Right. And Amazing idea. So the recipe was the inspiration for the product line. There was a lot of hand-painted glass out there. Uh -huh. And I just thought, this is a niche. This is something that women are demanding because there is a lot of hand-painted glass. But there were a lot of florals. And I thought, yeah. plus the martini trend was really just starting to happen. And so I created a line of martini glasses that sort of capitalized on that trend. So it's all right there at the very bottom yes. of the glass, yes. everything there. In case you forget how to make a martini. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But don't yeah. drink it when it's standing up. Right. You know, you have to finish your drink and then make the drink. Just okay, I got it. Carol, Carol, didn't you <laughs> get one of these? One of our enterprising moms, you got one of these? Really? They are so gift, you much did. fun. She knew me very well. Wow. <laughs> I love martinis. It's like, yeah. like Sex in the City, but to the next level. It's I love next it. Level. You got the martini glasses. Yeah. Now, what do we have here? So then you start, all right, we start with the martinis. Now with we the go martinis. to... Man glasses, huh, Kent? Well... <laughs> You know, after the martini collection was such a hit, uh -huh. and you know, I, I was doing these martini glasses for three years on my own, hand painting my my little hands off, and yeah. then um, I decided to branch out into more masculine things because there's definitely so definitely a need for the guys. <laughs> yeah. Just like a football. Um, I get to hear with the guys. We want hand painted glasses. Exactly. Well, what right. for your beer in the football kit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, actually, very kind of cool. Yeah. So the guys need a beer, <laughs> and they need something fun to drink it out of. Now, a lot of guys don't like drinking out of girly hand painted. Yeah. Glasses. You know, I can tell you right now, a bunch of money, we watch Monday Night Football, ain't going to be flower glasses. Yeah, it's exactly. Not, you know. So, you know, most guys that are drinking a beer uh -huh. and watching a game don't get to mowing the lawn until after the game, mm -hmm. at least. Well, you got to have another so, drink. So what's your top the, seller then the, for the guys' glasses? See, I won't get to it till after the game glass. That's oh, my okay. glass right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we have it. 99 bottles of beer and we have the golf. So we have a lot for the guys. And there's a bunch more down here, like the 5 o'clock somewhere, the tailgating. Um, and the 21 birthday glass, so they're a lot of fun for the guys. Now, everyone starts a business. You have a slogan, or what, what's your slogan for your business? What is your moment? And how'd that come about? Oh. Well, it's all about people's moments and time, uh -huh. their celebrations. Yeah. So the line is actually targeted to men and women's fun times, and uh -huh. so for every moment in time, you need to celebrate it. Yeah. So if you have a birthday, if you have an anniversary, a romantic evening, or the there's Seahawks a glass win, for pick that. up that glass. Exactly. <laughs> So like the birthday moment is like the most popular moment all year round. And we've got glasses. Mm -hmm. We've got a ton of glasses yeah, for you're birthdays. A, you're so a huge success. Yeah, what's yeah. your big breakthrough? What was it? So you, you, you're paint, uh, painting away. How does it go oh. from that to $36 million? Well, right? That's what you all want to know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's about uh, actually dreaming. And my dream was to always get licensed because oh. I used to work for a licensed fashion designer. Uh -huh. So I, I had a lot of inspiration from that. And so I knew how to launch a product line. Uh -huh. And I knew about licensing that you could take a small business and actually mm -hmm. turn it into something huge without having the overhead. Okay. So that was my goal. So I worked my contacts from day one and just got the word out that I wanted to get licensed. Mm -hmm. And the and next thing I knew, handy. Yep, uh -huh. the next thing I knew, I was meeting a manufacturer who just jumped on it and it became a dream team. Huge. So, Exciting. so let's move. We got guy stuff here. Now we're back. These aren't guys' things, right? These are girly oh, wine be. glasses. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 
it depends on the guy. The lipstick over um, there, I love it. Absolutely, and our wine glasses, the Lolita wine glasses are fabulous because you don't need wine charms yeah. anymore. You can just start collecting the Lolita wine glasses and give each girlfriend uh -huh. a, a different glass. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, that makes you want to bring what my girlfriends over, over. These are the margarita collection, and we also oh, have man. mojitos, and these margaritas are so much fun to drink out of. They each come with a little charm, uh -huh. and they're all based on recipes, margarita recipes. So for oh. an your moms, basically, I one of your things is you got you got to get help early when you start your business, right? Don't be Absolutely. afraid to ask people for help. You know, that's one of the biggest things is don't take it for granted that you can do everything because you just can't. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have little ones um, yeah. running around the house. Get child care early. Depend mm -hmm. on the family. However you can get help to, mm -hmm. to get your dream realized. Plus, you got to get people to help your weaknesses. So you got to figure out what your weaknesses are and get somebody good that can, you yeah. know. That was one of my mistakes is that I thought I could handle everything from the financial to the marketing to the painting to the child care. Mm -hmm. And if I could do it over again, I would yeah. definitely hire an accountant uh -huh. because I, I'm not good with numbers. Yeah, me you know. neither. You know, my husband so. likes to remind me of that. <laughs> and another thing, you just, maybe just do what you're, you're excited about because exactly. you seem to love all of this. And you know, my biggest advice to mompreneurs is to do what you love. I mean, if you if there's something you love, if it's a hobby or something, you know, just just run with it. Yeah. You know what? She's smiling so much. The audience is about ready to smile. These things retail for $23 somewhere around there. Everybody yeah. in the audience gets one. Just Please. for being here. Thanks, later.